Welcome to Max's Garage Mahal. We just received something this morning we ordered Saturday. It is uh, something to help me rid my area of an armadillo that's been attacking my surf. I mean, wait a minute, turf. Surf, there ain't no oceans around here, so that'd be turf. Wouldn't it? Okay, so my turf, it's been digging little holes anywhere from this big round to that big round conical holes and it looks terrible and it's definitely going to hurt your ankle and stuff like that so we've got here this magical orange banana cutter tool here see and we're going to see what it takes to get into this because we haven't opened it yet and we're hoping what's in it is what I ordered and that would be um, a Hetson Air Rifle. Now I've never heard of those people. Never heard of the company, never heard of the, you know, maybe something that's wonderful. I don't really know. We're going to find out. It looks like there's a shipping. It is a Hetson HCED GE 22 dash 12 pound wow Whew. okay here's a description right there that's what it is so let's see and there's more of this stuff more of that stuff more of that stuff Ah, <laughs> 79 foot of that stuff. So let's see what's in here now. Oh, Lord, sucker must weigh 12 pounds. Here, it just keeps coming out of the box, sort of like that packing. All righty. What else is in here? Nothing. That's okay, I guess. All right, get rid of that box. And, I don't know if I get the whole thing, that's what the box looks like. Hudson Edge, .22 caliber, 800 feet per second, up to 30% more impact energy than what it doesn't say. So let's get rid of this. Alright, pull on that, flip it up, pull on this, flip it up, and woo, Lord, look at there. got great big holes in the stock I guess to make it lighter it didn't work all right I know nothing about air rifles I'm gonna tell you right now so this is gonna be a learning experience for all two of us and uh, they did seal the package up to keep moisture out of it I have to give them that sealed them both ends uh oh got an air hole right there Okay, I lied. They didn't seal it all the way. All right, let's do this. Let's get some of these pretty blue Lowe's skizzers here. Let's just go right across here. There you go. And we're going to pull that rascal out. See what it looks like outside the package. We're not going to go do any shooting in that stuff today, and the main reason for that is. The uh, assortment of pellets I ordered, they haven't arrived yet. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a thing, take a look at it from this end all the way down to that end. And I don't know why they put this great big plastic gob of crap on here. I guess they molded the site on here. And I know he's supposed to be able to break it down and cock it like that. Lord goodness. Uh -huh. At least the sights, front and rear sight, are on the barrel that moves, the part that moves. And I understand this thing goes into safety automatically when you cock it. So 
we'll figure that out. Okay, so all this is is just an introduction to the gun. We're going to get some pellets in, we're going to set it up, we're going to show you what we find about it. And I may order a bipod for it, or maybe, maybe not. I don't even know where you'd mount the stinking thing if you had one. Except on the barrel, that'd make it hard to cock. Okay, here's your safety right there. That's uh, off. Rear is on. Let me shoot some air out of this thing. Woo! It does have a little bit of a report. So, that's all we're going to do today. And uh, we'll bring this thing back and show it to you. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see with this thing. I uh, don't intend to kill Mr. Armadillo. Um, but I'm going to sting him in the tail and let him know that I'd rather he move on back to Texas where he came from. So we'll see how that works out. We're going to find out how accurate this thing is. And I ordered a, um, <laughs> ordered a chronograph, ballistic chronograph. And I ordered it by accident. I was ordering the two-year extended warranty for this thing. When I clicked on that, it added that to my basket. And I um, thought I'd just leave it in there. And I paid for it. And it turns out it's going to be April before this stinking thing gets here. So I may just cancel that and order another one. And um, if I can get away with it. But there it is. Sucker is heavy. And um, feels good. Trigger felt good. A little heavy. Might have to do a little accurizing on that trigger. Just a little softening the trigger. And uh, it comes with a scope, by the way. And from what I read about them, what I've seen about them, these scopes are what you pay for them. It was free with the rifle, so I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be about as good as what I paid for it. Which was nothing, or as they say at the rifle manufacturer, it was included with the rifle. So I guess I paid, uh, paid for these together, which makes it a total package. And it comes with a lens cleaner. And a <laughs> wonderful little tool here, Allen wrench. And it comes with a maintenance schedule for it and instructions. Bore sighting aim at a target 100 meters away. Really? <laughs> if that thing can shoot 100 meters and actually penetrate paper, it'll surprise the dickens out of me. But let's just take a gander at it real quickly and see what it looks like. It comes with some yellow lens caps here, which that's pretty neat. And hello, y'all. Well, see if this actually does turn down the magnification. Boy, not by much. All right, well, how about that? You know, it's good and clear. See if y'all can see me through that. Let's move, see if you can see something else to it. If I can get out of my own way where you can see. Well, actually, you could, but I couldn't stay still long enough. I've gotten old. All right. You shouldn't have gotten anything out of this because I didn't put anything in it. But at the same time, that's just introducing rifle. And like I said, put in comments below what you'd like to see me try, attempt with this thing. We'll try to set it up and steady it and shoot it from like 15 yards, 20 yards, 25, 30, 40, 50. We may even try out to 70 just to see what it'll do and um, see if it has any kind of accuracy and 
if it'll group at all. And after that, um, maybe we'll have some. Uh, oh, and I did learn. I finally found out. I watched somebody else's video, and I've always wondered what spam was good for. It's good for shooting. Thank you, spam. So we're going to try that too, as well, probably. All right. Well, thank you for watching. As we always say at Max's Garage Mahal, y'all come back, sis, now. You hear?